Hello friends, in today's lecture we are going to see an example related to design of mortgage and non-mortgage. Right now the example, we will start with human data. Let us write over here. The given data includes a whole of 35 diameter with tolerance limit of plus minus 0 0.004 is to be checked by means of more over gauge. That means the gauge over here is more Nuko gauge. Now design the dimension of the gauge required and show Information diagram. That means the two point fact is what we have to find is first dimensions of the gauge and second that we are going to find is the tolerance deposition diagram. Since we have shown over here, well, let us know what it means. The basic diameter of this has been given that is 525 is the basic diameter that we have Over here, the sign represents plus minus 0 0.004. That means the plus and minus sign when given to the problem, you have to understand the fact that it is a bidirectional tolerance or it is a bilateral tolerance. Since the tolerance has to be considered on both sharp and whole basis systems. Now, before starting on the problem, you should understand what is the Taylor principle for this design. Or Taylor basic principle for one more gauge. And the basic Taylor principle says that the go gauge should change for the maximum technical condition of the product and no go gauge should change for the minimum technical condition of the product. But here we have to find since this is a goal of the we have to find first dimensions of the color, second tolerance deposition data. We will start solving the problem. Please give it to me. Over here, the hole is having diameter of the hole is having diameter of whole diameter with a six inch, whole diameter is equal to 35 by 2. Plus minus 0 0.004. Since all diameter is 35 by 2, plus minus 0 0.004, therefore we can say it as a upper limit of over is equal to 35 plus 0 0.004 equal to 35.004 mm. Over here, Lower limit of the hole is equal to of hole is equal to 35 minus 0 0.004 that subsequently gives us 34.996 mm. Now, since we have issued upper limit of hole and lower limit of hole, let us see a diagram which will say or which will do what they are actually doing. We are drawing a shaft and we are designing a whole system for this shaft. That means this is a shaft. Over here, we are going to draw a hole for this. That means upper limit of the hole and lower limit of the hole are the two limits where lower limit of the upper limit of the shaft and lower limit of the hole should match. Likewise, the tolerance deposition diagram should be there. Oh, this is the hole and this is the shaft. Now we have a single upper limit of the hole and we have a single lower limit of the hole. Since we have to calculate one tolerance and it is plus or minus of upper limit minus lower limit. Therefore, 0 0.004 minus of minus 0 0.004 that has given us 0 0.008 mm. So we have found next one 
tolerance. Next is the gauge metal tolerance. which is always considered as a 10% of the work tolerance therefore 10% of 0 0.008 that will give us 0 0.0 0.008 mm now we have four conditions with us upper limit, lower limit, one tolerance and gauge metal tolerance next will be where allowance where allowance and that is 10% of gauge metal tolerance therefore condition will be 0 0.8 mm 0 0.00008 mm now since we have got gauge metal tolerance we have got where allowance so we can plot the diagram of this and considering both gauge with where allowance the bore size will be 34.996 plus 0 0.4 times 0 0.8 that will give us 34.9961 mm that is for bore size for bore size we can write this as a bore 34.9961 Raised to minus 0 0.00 plus 0 0.4 times 0 to 8. And for no go, similarly, we can plot 35.005 raised to plus 0 0.0008 plus 0 0.0008 plus 0 0.00. So we have seen the whole diameter. And bilateral tolerance is of 0 0.00, and for this we have to have both sides as well as no both sides. And I will start to show since the dimension has been found out, it's the time to show tolerance deposition diagram. And the tolerance deposition diagram can be, or it will be like this is the work tolerance. Next is the section where shaft and hole will be intersecting each other and this is for no gauge. This will be the wear allowance which we have found out. And same side, this will be no go side. And this we can plot in as a 30.0048. 35.004 this is 35.9961 and this is 35.99 whereas the global bit size is 34.9953 so over here we have shown tolerance deposition diagram so here we have completed a problem we will see one more problem in this and let us Second problem: Design and make a drawing of general thermals bore locomotive gauge, but it is a plug gauge for inspecting hole of 25 dA. Now, this is the revision you can understand. Data with usual notations. I minus has been given as I minus has been given as 0.25. Of the plus 0 0.001 d and fundamental deviation of whole d is equal to 16 deviation minus 0.44 value of tolerance is IT grade A with 25 by cross. Now, therefore, let us first find out since you have got this data, let us first find out dimensions of this 25 dK. And 25 dK meaning 
remove faults in the states of activation surgery and health. That is the great thing in the top of the and the top of the piece of the brain is from 18 to 30. Therefore, capital D is equal to 18 into 30 equals to 23.379 mm. Please note this very. Therefore, the I calculation will be 0.25 cubic of D plus 0.005 into D. Therefore, it is 0.45 cubic of 23.379 plus 0.005 into 23.379. And after doing the mathematical calculations, we will get that it is 1.30745 grams. Please note down this to me. After this, we will see that tolerance is IP 8 gram, that is 55 into I. Therefore, ultimately, by putting this I value over here, what we will get is 13. 685 microns. Since we are finding all the basics, we have got 25 DMPD. Now, with these small values, we will go for fundamental deviation of form that is D is equal to 16 into D raised to 0.24. Therefore, it will give us answer as 63.86 microns. Or we can convert that to 0.06. Microns. Now, since we will see in the diagram how it takes place, and in the diagram it is this is the high limit, this is the low limit, between that is the tolerance, and below to that is the fundamental deviation which gets connected with basic size. So this is the general diagram you can understand over here. Therefore, we will finalize the lower limit and upper limit. And lower limit can be calculated as basic size plus KP, that is fundamental relation, and the answer we will get is 25.06386 mm, whereas Upper limit of the whole is equal to 25.0965 mm. Since we have found out the answers, let us process it again. Therefore, gauge metal tolerance is equal to 10% of work tolerance. Therefore, it is equal to 0. 0.0327 mm and go plug gauge size will be go plug gauge size will be 25.064 mm therefore now we will give it as a graphical representation of general purpose gauge and that will be in the problem over here what we can measure or what we can show by using problem in one China, that is, this is one tolerance equivalent to 0.0326 mm. Then this is the no go side. This is the go side. Whereas this is the wear allowance. This is the limit when 25.0997 is plotted. This is the point when 25.0965 is plotted. And this is the point when 25.0965 is plotted. And this is the point when 25.0965 is plotted. And this is the point when 25.0965 is plotted. And this is the point when 25.0965 is plotted. And this is the point when 25.0965 is plotted. And this is the point when 25.0965 is plotted. And this is the point when 25.0965 is plotted. And this is the point when 25.0965 is plotted. And this is the point when 25.0965 is plotted. And this is the point when 25.0965 is plotted. And this is the point when 25.0965 is plotted. And this is the point when 25.0965 is plotted. And this is the point when 25.0965 is plotted. And this is the point when 25.0965 is plotted. And this is the point when 25.0965 is plotted. And this is the point when 25.0965 is plotted. And this is the point when 25.0965 is plotted. And this is the point when 25.0965 is plotted. And this is the point when 25.0965 is plotted. And